to demolish your past plan. He's currently disarmed. Go take a look. Bring his corpse back to me. Looks like it's just you and me, player. Well, I hope you brought your best weapons, cause you will need them. Stay here as long as it takes, player. 
you are. You're a disgrace. Well, Zortox, you're gonna have to come out sooner or later. And seeing as you have no weapon, looks like you're pretty screwed. Why don't you just teleport yourself in here and kill me? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, I'm stupid? Hey player, don't fall for this. I bet you he has the atmospheric pressure set so high in that tube of his that uh, pretty much only his suit can handle. Yeah, I think we'll be fine if we just wait it. Wait, wait a minute. Who's that? Gouger, is that you? Hey buddy, I haven't seen you in forever. Come here, buddy. Remember me? Come here. Hey, buddy. Oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You know what? I have a plan. You can withstand a lot. Well, Zortox, with no weapon, and it doesn't look like your shields are very strong. Gouger. Sick him, boy. Go get him. Sick him. That's it. That's it, buddy. Go for it. Oh no. You've got to be kidding me. No, no. I love it when they gurgle after they die. You gotta love it when they gurgle after they die. Well, player. Looks like, uh, this is it. This is your last teleporter. Well, player, after all these years, my delicate planning has finally paid off. The only way I can really get back at you. After all, I couldn't seem to kill you in the other areas. You would just come back again and again. So I was wondering, how does he do that? I ended up meeting a friend, Zortox. Or should I say, used to be my friend. He showed me ways to teleport and uh, respawn, so to speak. Zortox did not take kindly to my approach with this technology. That's why shortly after I brought you here, he turned against us. Plus with the flood and all, turning everything evil, can't really blame him. And thank you for helping me kill Zortox, by the way. So, I ended up... Uh, using this technology with my obsessed mind to bring you back here. I knew I couldn't bring you down using the old malicious war tactics, so I came up with a different approach. I'll offer peace until the right time arises. And now you're here. But I'm not going to kill you. No, no. It never seems to work for me anyways. But you remember Joe, right? Not from recently, though. He was actually one of the guards in Area 52. Great at manipulating his voice. I think I'll let Joe take a shot at you. Well, player, I hope you had as much fun as I did. Bye. I'll leave you too. And I think I deserve a, a celebration. <laughs>
Sorry about this, sir. You need to be executed. You've seen too much, much, much. The only ship I could find to get off this planet. Stupid primitive human technology. I wonder what this button does. Chief? Chief, can you hear me? Cortana. Cortana, come in. Chief. Hey, Chief. It's me, Eric. Hey, the hogger. How? Don't worry, everything's okay. Well, not okay, but you're about to wake up soon. And shit's about to get real. You've been in a cryogenic state for quite some time. I'm an AI, similar to Cortana, only I'm designed to help keep you on your toes while you are sleeping, so to speak. Controlling your dreams helps keep you desensitized to what you might face. Now brace yourself, and don't worry, everything, well, everything was all just a dream, 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 just a dream. <laughs> <laughs>